In this video, I'm going to explain how to create nice interactive pie chart in Microsoft Excel. The chart is currently showing overall data summary for IT area. If I click any of the region, for example, USA, the chart will filter out the data for on USA and show the summary for selected region. We can select any of the region and the chart will automatically update their cell. Now how we can create this interactive chart using Microsoft Excel. In this video, I'm going to teach you each and every thing. Consider we have this data sheet. The first thing we need to create a pivot table. If I click anywhere on this table, click on insert pivot table from table range. And I will insert this pivot table on a new worksheet. For the rows field, I will input IT area. And for the values field, I will input IT area as well. The next thing we need to sort this data sheet in descending order. I will simply click, right click, sort, sort largest to smallest. The next thing we need to click on design. For the subtotal click, do not show subtotal. For the grand total of the grand total for rows and column. Now I will click on the very side, type equal and select all of my data sheet, hit enter. The next thing we need to insert slices. For example, if I click on this pivot table, pivot table analyze, insert slicer. In this case, I want slicer based on region. Hit OK. Now, if I click any of the region, it will filter out the pivot table for that region. Now, what is happening? If there is no data, this shows 00, zero and we want to remove the 00. zero. I will update this function a little bit once I complete my chart. For now, I will simply click anywhere and you can see a blue line, which means this is a full array. I will simply go to insert, recommended chart. And in this case, I will select all chart, pie chart, and I will select the donut pie chart. Here I can see three designs, but I will select this design, hit OK. Now, if I filter out my slicer, it will show the data for all of the region. If you want the same color as I show in my video, make sure on page layout you selected blue two colors. The next thing we need to click this chart and the first thing to remove the chart title. The next thing we need to remove these white outline from the chart. So I will simply click on the circle and it will select all of the series. Go to format, shape outline, click no outline. Now you can see there is no white outline. The next thing we need to hit Ctrl C, make sure you select the chart and now hit Ctrl V. You can see two donut. Now hit Ctrl V again, three, four. Now how many times you need to press Ctrl V? So in this case, I will insert eight of the circle. So currently this is four, Ctrl V, five, six, seven, eight. So in summary, I select my chart, Ctrl C and hit Ctrl V eight times. Now I will right click on the chart, format data series, in this case, I will reduce the donut hole size. I will simply select, let's say 30. I will scroll a little bit to the right side. Once you select chart, you can see format. In a format, you can see all of the eight series. If you click on the first series, it will select the top upper series. If you click on second series, it will select this series. So don't worry about this. So once you select the first series, go to shape fill and simply click no fill. I will increase the chart area a little bit more. The next thing we need to click one by one series for each specific KPI. For example, I click here, it will select the entire series. I will click again and it will select only this infrastructure series. Now, once I select this series, I will simply go shape fill to no fill. And I will do the same process for this one as well. Simply click shape fill, no fill. Now we will click on this series and you can see the entire series is highlighting. You can simply click again and shape fill, no fill. Now I will select this series, simply click again, shape fill, no fill, shape fill, no fill. And I will simply click this series again, shape fill, no fill. Almost our chart is ready, but now we need to apply the data label. For now, if I click any of the region, you can see my chart is working. But if I click on the chart and click on the plus icon data labels, oh, what is happening? This show the data label for all of the series and we want to apply the data label for only one series. I will simply uncheck the data label. If you click on the format, on the drop down, you select series one. You can see it will highlight the entire upper series for which we already select the fill color, no fill. Now I will click data label. 
and this will show the data label for only this specific series of course all of the series are the same the next thing i will click on the data label label options i will simply click on the plus icon to off chart element label options in this case i want to see percentage i will off the value and if you want to see category name you can simply check this one as well and almost we are done we just need to close this format data label window we need to move this data label a little bit outside the next thing we don't need this legend and now i will simply format this data label one by one to match the color so i will simply select data label and select again for the color i will select the matching colors now if you click all of the data label i think better to bold these text as well so hit ctrl b and almost we are done now if you click any of the region for example you can see the data label has been displaying properly with the colors now you can see when you filter the asia you can see here is zero percent and we need to off this zero now if you simply scroll to the left side we need to update this formula a little bit if i click here if open parenthesis if these value are equal to zero hit comma we want to display any result otherwise we want to display our same result close parenthesis hit enter now what is happening when we filter out for a specific region and there is no data it will show any result and when we select usa for example it will show all of the data set and the reason why i use any function just to hide those zero as well i hope you learned something useful from this video if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more video and if you have time please share this video as well thank you so much